I was an advertising art director, and uh, one of my ads uh, showed a red lobster. And Bill Martin saw that and asked me to illustrate his brown bear, brown bear. Before that, I had, well, I would say average interest in children's books, but uh, Bill Martin's brown bear, brown bear turned my life and my career around. It was one idea over 32 pages, and that is something the child can absorb. Plus the way he presented it, the rhythm, the simplicity was so unique. It just turned something in me. We would talk and things, and he told me that he couldn't read until he was 20 years old. A teacher discovered that he couldn't read and said, Bill, you cannot read. And Bill said, you're right, I cannot read. This man, through rhythm, taught Bill Martin how to read. I was on a signing tour with Bill and I think it was the polar bear and we were traveling from city to city and in the morning he came down from his hotel room and he had a sheet of paper in his hands and he said, I'm writing a new story, what do you think of this? Well, let me hear, I said, and he says, da 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 or do you think it should be da 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 Bill, what are you talking about? He said, well, first I do the rhythm and then I put in the words. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Boom, 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 boom. If we believe in a theory that children before they are born are close to the heartbeat of their mother, that must have an influence on children. I started school in the United States and had a wonderful experience. And then my parents went back to Germany and I started first grade all over again. And it was very disciplinarian with a mean teacher. I pretty soon began to hate school, and hating school also prevented me from learning. You know, back then, it wasn't recognized whether you're learning disabled or whatever, but I'm sure I was. So that's where Bill and I linked up, and this somehow shows up in our work. The, the manuscript of Baby Bear, Baby Bear had been with me for a while, I think a couple of years maybe, and I just thought, enough bear books. And then last year I looked at it and I was enthralled. Wow, you know, how could I not do it? I think the Baby Bear had an additional element that the other three don't have. It had more of an emotional content in it. The mother looking for the baby and the baby being found by the mother, that, that type of thing. It was an emotional time working on a book and thinking about Bill's and my relationship and how he's been part of what made me what I am and uh, how nice of him, of Bill, to leave the manuscript for me and for me to finish it after he's not here anymore. Brown Bear, Brown Bear was kind of my first important book and with Baby Bear, Baby Bear, I have also concluded my career. I don't think I'm going to do any more books. Of course, if next year you speak to me, who knows? Mm -hmm.